welcome back to my channel. This is Victoria K, and today, hey, I'm here back with a story time slash vlog about my labour. So when I was 19, I fell pregnant um, with my first child with my, my boyfriend. Um, about nine months later, um, on the 4th of August, me and my partner decide to order pizza so we ordered that and then i love chili sauce like i don't know when i was pregnant i had a thing for chili sauce so we ordered chili sauce and i was eating that mm. the next day on the um 5th of august i started to get like a cramp like pain in my pelvic area so it was like oh so i told my partner i was like um i'm in pain I'm in a lot of pain. The whole like whole morning we chill and then oh it's like it gets a little bit worse for it and um I use the toilet and I wipe down and I look and I see my mucus plug. We went to the hospital and the woman did her check and then the woman was like, Well you're not in labour, you're less than one centimetre. I'm just gonna like ride it out and stuff and I'm, I'm gonna have to continue doing my normal daily activities because it's gonna be like this for a while and he said all right babe just make sure you text me when you get home so I went and did my shopping the pain was getting worse when I was going shopping so then I decided to um, go home and lay down I had like a, a little like hour nap and this was around 8 p.m. when we're chilling me my best friend and his mum and 10 o'clock he his mum decides to leave and so does my best friend so my partner comes um out of the room to come and comfort me and make me feel better and he all of a sudden he goes to the kitchen and i come back and i'm laying on the floor pick me up put me on the sofa this is why i'm going to insert a video of me right now how many weeks you got to go it's less than two weeks now. Two weeks. What day are we on? We're on the 23rd. No. We're 4th of August. So, yeah, we've got like two weeks, I think, or less than that. They can't should be full term at like 40. He decides to call the ambulance. The ambulance come. And the woman was so freaking rude, like, she comes in my house here and then she was like, so what's the emergency? And then my partner was explaining to her, oh yeah, so she's nine months pregnant and she's feeling a lot of pain. I think she's in labour. She looks at me like this. So she, she just does her little um, checklist thing and does what she needs to do. She didn't check me at all if I was in labour or not. And then she just leaves. She packed up her shit and go, and then she was like, "Next time, don't call the ambulance service if it's not an emergency." Okay, I'm gonna ride it out. If you tell me I'm gonna, I'm riding it out. Yeah, I'm riding it out. I went to bed. He's sleeping. Me, I cannot sleep now, man. My stomach is hurt. Not my stomach. My my pelvic is hurting me. I can't sleep. Comes to like 4 a.m. now, and um, babe's like, he wakes up and he looks at me because he has a feeling I'm not okay, and he's like. Babe, are you okay? I said, I wasn't trying to fit me. Nothing is working. No paracetamol, no ibuprofen, whatever you want to call it. Nothing was working. So at this point, it's like 5 a.m. For an hour, we tried many strategies. The point, what he does is he puts me in a bath. And that calm, it came like, it made my contractions less intense. It, it came back like a train. Like, oh, it came, it came back like it was going to fight me. Like, I took I took its man and it was coming to fight me. So he was like, nah, babe, you're in labor. You're in labor. We need to take you to the hospital now. So we went to the hospital now and the man went to go and check how many centimeters dilated I am. It's like, you're four centimeters dilated. Bam, four. Did you say four? Four, 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 four. So she couldn't sleep all night and we just found out. She's four centimeters dilated. Fuck you, you little paramedic. Fuck you and your million kids. And he was like, You said you wanted a water birth. Are you still cool with that plan? I said, Yeah, bitch. I want a natural birth. No medication. Nothing. I want to be a bad girl in it. I want all day and I want to feel it. I want to feel it. 
he um, gave me the gas and he teaches me how to use it and then I'm just chatting the most. It was like I was in a block party at university or something like I was so high. <laughs> okay, you can stop laughing now. It's only guessing here. <laughs> So then I was starting to make phone calls to my family and telling them I'm in labour. I couldn't call everybody but I called like the most important ones and then they spreaded the word. So I obviously, the first person I'm going to call is my mum. I was like, mum, I'm in labour. She wasn't in London so she was like, oh don't joke Victoria because we, we because I can't come back. Four centimetres, there's only six cent six centimetres left here. Yeah. You better come back now because I'm going to take this baby out of my vagina. My fucking vagina, you know? Very intense experience for me because the pain was a lot. Like when you have like a a non-medicated birth, you feel everything, everything. <laughs> and the only thing that can help you is gas and air and aromatherapy because that's what I use and a bit of music. It helped me, but at the same time, because I was on labor for so long, it made me want to give up more because I wasn't paying for that long. I and mean, I'm panicking at this point because it's midday afternoon and my mum's still not here yet. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna give birth and my mum's not gonna be here. My mum arrives and I'm like, thank God. Cause I- Oh! Good, 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 good. Oh! 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 Stay in control. Oh! Oh! Stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do this. Oh. You are stronger than these contractions, okay? Well done. Mommy! You are strong. You got it, you got it. Breathe. Keep going, keep going. Breathe. So I was in a lot of pain and nothing was working. Nothing really changes. My centimeters are not going fast, they're going slow. Like, it'll be like one centimeter per hour. It was going slow so from 12 to like 5 I, I moved to like one centimeter so I was pissed off at this point because it, it just wasn't going quick enough for me it's a bit of a weird situation to have your vagina like shown to everyone in the room like thing I know like Victoria you need more energy because soon soon you're gonna have to push so you need to eat they gave me lasagna and um, they gave me lasagna and I ate as much as I could but it wasn't a lot, it was very small and like maybe half an hour later I threw up all over my partner. So around this time he changes into scrubs and it becomes really late. And my centimetres go from from like a big jump so it went from maybe like 7 to 9, I was so grateful for that, I was like thank you God because I can't be in this pain any longer, any longer. I can't do it! I can't do it! No! It's oh, my vagina! No! And they were like, yeah, bitch, you're nine centimeters. So that's the last time they could check. Because if they checked any more than that, then oh, I would have got an infection. They were preparing me for like positions and stuff. But they couldn't find her, um, my baby's heartbeat. They couldn't find the baby's heartbeat. So they were panicking and they were trying to get me to different positions. It wasn't working. I'm scared because I'm thinking I can't, I can't lose this child. Like I can't spend nine months carrying this child. They rushed me to um, the theater, and that's why I was set up to to give birth. And, um, and they're like Victoria, you have to push. Like this is the time. Like please, you have to push. At least. 10 doctors in there and I just felt like if this baby, if I lose this baby, it's my fault because I am not trying hard enough. Um, at this point, I looked at my mum and my mum, she cried. She looked at me in the eye and she cried. I was like, I'm gonna have to cut you. I said, like, what do you mean cut me? Like, and she was like, don't worry, we're gonna have to cut you. It's not gonna hurt. They put the injection in me, they cut, they cut my, um, near my like butt cheek. They got the, what do you call that? The suction cup? The the suction thing? They put it, I pushed and then they put it in the baby's head, I think. And then they said push again and then the baby's head came out. And then, and then I had to push like a couple of times and then the whole baby came out. 
and they gave me her. I saw her and I was waiting. Lovely. And I was crying. I'm crying. And I was like, <laughs> she gorgeous. She looks okay. like me. I remember saying she looks like me. She looks like me. <laughs> I was happy at the same time. My partner was talking to me, but I was in shock. I could not talk for for 20 minutes. So I said, they gave me an injection to take the placenta out, and they were like, because um, this is the only way. At this point, I was looking at my baby. I was so happy. We did chest to chest. We, we did a lot of things, and my partner held her, and my mum was happy, and we were all happy, and it was the worst it was the worst but yet best experience of my life